we got to switch gears and set the table for one of the biggest college games we're going to see around here. It's McMurray's welcome back to D2 against ACU tomorrow. We welcome in Casey Kiernan. You have a truly amazing story to tell us about Hal Mummy, the head coach over there. Mm. You know, there's been a lot of talk about how the game hasn't been played in 41 years, but their existence in D2 is only going to overlap for about two years. So tomorrow's game is going to be a really unique experience for everyone involved. But what we found out is there's someone just as unique on the sidelines in maroon and white. Take a look. It's 3 p.m. and Coach Hal Mummy is preparing for McMurray's first football game since it's moved to Division II. And it's first against Crosstown rival ACU in 41 years. Yeah, we need. I told him it'd be next week, but... but uh... Yeah, you need to mention his name. Coach Hal Mummy has had a life in football that most head coaches can only dream of. Partnering with a young Mike Leach, Mummy took football by storm with his patented air raid offense. We always just wanted to make that offense that everybody wanted to see. And it's still true today, the most exciting part of the NFL game is a two-minute drill. So we just figured if you could just basically play two-minute drill all the time, then you'd have pretty good entertainment for the entire game. And so it's kind of our approach. It wasn't too long before the Leach Mummy philosophy was being applied in the SEC at the University of Kentucky. I'm real proud of our guys. They're playing hard. The relationship he has with Hal Mummy is very unique. Oh, it really is. But with the highest of highs came the lowest of lows. Coach Mummy and his staff soon saw themselves under a barrage of NCAA violations and out of a job. I'd had about six, seven months of being above the fold in USA Today, and basically, I'm a really bad guy. And then you have to go prove yourself, prove what happened. In February of 2002, we get about this much in the transactions that says I'm not guilty, you know. After 18 months away from the game, but with his name acquitted, Hal Mummy made his return to football. But just months before being tasked with bringing the Warhawks back to relevance, Coach Mummy received news that would change his life yet again. I got really ill during two a days. We went to the doctor and, and I just couldn't get I couldn't get healthy. I just was lethargic and and after a month or so they did a the, the doctor said well, we're gonna have to do a test and he said the test came back he said well, well you either have uh, prostate cancer or a prostate infection. My wife had breast cancer. I promise she had a worse time than I did. I think it's always worse when it happens to a loved one than it is to happening to you. When when my youngest daughter was was six months old she they, they told her she had spinal meningitis and she uh, was in a fetal position for 10 days and we sat, June and I sat there and watched the little thing go beep, 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 waiting for her to die. I've never done anything worse than that. June's cancer, my cancer, and getting fired. And just, and once you do something like that with a kid, it, there's, not, there's not anything that can hurt you. It's really not. McMurray's one of those places that when you walk across the campus, you actually, you know, you just kind of have this home feeling all the time when you're walking around. I do it every day. I go to the, I go sit on the steps of the library and watch all the kids go to class and drink coffee. I've, I've been the head coach at six places, and there's only two of them, Valdosta State and McMurray. That's the only two places I've ever coached where if, the, if a guy couldn't play football anymore, they stayed there anyway. We have a bunch of guys that didn't come, and they try out, and they can't do it, but they stay at McMurray just because they love McMurray. And so as Coach Mummy prepares to do battle against ACU on Saturday on the field, he knows he has already won some of life's most challenging battles off it. Casey Kiernan, K-Texas Sports. That was awesome. Yeah, and I just wanted to thank Coach Mummy for all the access that he granted us and his willingness to open up during, uh, during our interview. It was uh, pretty special. Real great job, man. Yeah. Casey, thank you very much.